Hello everyone, welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates. Today update we will talk about and share with you latest news about Home Office Worker Arrested for Selling UK Residency BBC News NI can reveal the official allegedly contacted a vulnerable man and asked for £2,000 in return for approving his refugee application. It is understood sensitive Home Office records were used as part of the attempted scam. The Home Office said the member of staff has been suspended. It said it expected the highest standards from its staff, but it would be inappropriate to comment further due to the live police investigation. Labour's shadow immigration minister Stephen Kinnock said they were deeply concerning allegations and the Conservative government had lost control of the asylum system. BBC News NI has spoken to the intended victim, who we are calling Rena's to protect his identity. He said he was contacted by a worker employed as an asylum decision-maker in the north of England. Rena said he received a call in early March 2024 where it was claimed 95 of people like you have their applications refused. The decision-maker then allegedly suggested a direct payment would guarantee success. He had all my information. He gave me very specific details from my application. Rena's recorded a subsequent video call he received from the decision-maker, which he passed to police and which has also been seen by the BBC. The footage appears to show an individual using a laptop which has official home office software containing case files. In a statement, Lancashire Police told BBC News NI, We can confirm we have arrested a man on suspicion of misconduct in public office, suspicion of money laundering, bribery, and computer misuse offences. Officers from Lancashire Constabulary alongside partners from the home office arrested the man, in his 30s, in the Ramsgreave area of Blackburn. An investigation remains in its early stages and inquiries are ongoing. She praised her client's integrity, adding, For him to be able to raise an issue like this took a lot of guts. He was initially quite frightened about what was going on, and it was difficult for us to give him any comfort because it was a very confusing time.